Hey guys, Ellen Woolbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. I am here today to play with some new things mixed with some old things. I'm kind of stuck on my magic in this night paper. I'm determined to use as much of it as I can uh, for non-Halloween cards because it's a rather Halloween paper. And I have grabbed out some brand new stamp sets. Hey Marjean, hey Peggy, um, to play with. I've grabbed out Floating and Fluttering, which I've only just realised has no sentiments with it, but that's okay. That's okay. That just means I grabbed out another stamp set. Hey Susan, hey Cheryl. I grabbed out Garden Wishes and I'm going to use the Wishing You All the Best stamp set because that's pretty much a birthday stamp set. And I said I wanted some birthday cards. Hey Colleen, hey Pamela, hey Eileen. Thank you all for joining. Um, so I've got Floating and Fluttering. Now, you guys have given me a lot of colours to work with. I don't think... Oh, I don't think I can use all the colours. But I have grabbed them all out and I'll see. I'll see. Because um, I'm looking at making maybe six cards. Hey, Kerry, welcome. Um looking at making maybe six cards and I have already um I've already started here did a bit of pre-work for once I've already stamped out the butterflies and I've already die cut six um so I've already done those and I just thought rather than making a super plain card like I have been making the last few videos I'll make something a bit prettier Hey Trudy, hey Glenda. Um, yes, yay, I'm glad. Well, that's why I said I was going to do videos between Christmas and New Year because I'm just sitting here card making and I hoped some of you uh, wouldn't be working and be able to join me when otherwise you are caught up with real life because we all know between Christmas and New Year, no one knows what the day is. I do know it's Sunday. Hey, Carol, Kay and Kim. Um, I do know it's Sunday and I normally don't go live on a Sunday, but it's just a day in between Christmas and New Year. So I am here. Thank you so much for sharing, Trudy. I appreciate that. So I have a couple of colour combos. So the first one was Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather, which... Just got out of bed, Deb. I woke up at about 8.30 this morning. It wasn't too bad. Um, so I've got Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. Now, that's a bit of a go-to for me. You girls all know that I love um, my purples. Magenta Madness and Misty Moonlight. Bit intrigued by this one and I really like it. Nice, bright and fun. Melon, Mambo and Mango Melody. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Cindy. Sunday's a slack day. Sunday's normally shopping, cleaning up the house for the week and doing all of that. But we don't need to be anywhere next week. And then I've got this mega set. Oh, no. Granny Apple Green was a single colour picked. This is the mega set. So we have Calypso, Bermuda, Bumblebee, and Just Jade. So nice. I like that they're all really bright colours. So I really like that. I don't know what we're going to do, but I have all the colours lined up here. I've got all my cardstock um, above me. Hello, Deborah. Two Deborahs in the house today. Um, I've got all the colours lined up. And I have a rough idea of where we're going, but I don't really know. So what I might do is flick you guys around, get started, have a play, have a chat. If you're not already following me, um, please make sure you like and follow me here on Facebook. Hey, Sarah. And if you are watching the replay here on Facebook, welcome. Or on YouTube, also welcome. And make sure you're subscribed to me over on Facebook because I don't want you to miss out. Hey, Lorraine. 
Oh, lovely. Oh, great. I'm so happy you're crafting along, Kerry. That means you'll be quiet in the comments. That's good for me to know. Then I won't go, Kerry, where are you? Um, but yeah, make sure you're following. Um, I am a real life, real time crafter. So um, if you haven't been here before, Welcome to the long haul. If you're watching in YouTube, in YouTube land, I will not be um, offended if you watch me in double speed. That's fine. I do that as well. It's all good. It's all good. But I tend not to speed them up or edit them because then you miss out on the tips and real life fun of me. It's okay. I'm a bit delirious. I have done all bar... One Christmas, which is happening on the 30th with good friends and we're um, reciprocal godparents uh, for children. So, yeah, we've got one more Christmas, but no cooking. We're going out and I think I just have to serve dessert at home. Yay me. Hey, Jacqueline. Thanks for joining. Nice seeing you twice in a day. So let's flip around, turn off the overhead light and get crafting. Give me a sec. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I know some of you I caught on Christmas Eve. Oh, I'm so glad you like the real life me. I love the real life you, Miss Cindy. You crack me up. Seriously, girl. Okay. Might pull this across a bit. So I've also, as you can see in the corner there... I've also grabbed out the dies. Right, let's see how we're going. Okay, lights off. Let's see if I can get up my feed. And let's, fingers crossed, hope we are a bit more reliable in our feedback feed than... Than what we were the other day on Christmas Eve. That was a bit how you going. Just let me. I think that's good. Lights, camera, action. That's exactly right. Glenda, lights, camera, action. Okay. I might share my post. No, I can't. I can't, I can't. I was going to share it to my, um, to my group, my um, team of demonstrators group, but I can't. So these are the sets we're playing with. As I said, I have already die cut some of these. I've just got one more set to die cut and these die cut perfectly on in our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine otherwise known as mini clem i have already mounted my stamp set or my stamp from garden wishes and i'm thinking i will use this shape i don't think i'm going to stamp the frame i may so one i need to know should i stamp and die cut the frame yes or no so die cut frame or stamp and die cut that is my first order of business that I need I'm going to pop some of these colors out of the way for the moment because you know I need my space put them in pairs over there put my die cut things over here stamp sets I'll do stamp sets this way. Stamp sets there. Just trying to get it as far across to give myself working space. So I have three dies and I'll show you the dies. So these are the fluttering dies that, ooh, that go with the stamp set. So you can cut this stamped piece out as a whole and have it as one piece or you can use the individual dies to cut sorry you can use the individual dies to cut the individual elements which I am doing with 
the butterflies. So it's nice to have lots of options. Hello, Debbie. Thank you so much for joining. Now, I need to do this in two passes. So you'll just have to trust me that I can't put all the dies through in one pass because that would make life way too easy. So no one's told me about my die cutting yet, whether I should, uh, what you think I should do with this frame. Because I thought it'd be a per, the stamps, uh, the sentiment fits perfectly across this way. So it will be a portrait frame. Now, I'm not getting these perfect. They're going to be good enough is close enough. I could take them down, but you know, I ain't going to. I'm going to pop this in here, sandwich it down and crank it through. Okay. And they're the best ones I've done yet. Why is it I couldn't get the, my other ones so perfect as those two? Okay, those two there. You do just cut off the um, antennae, which I am totally and utterly fine with. And our little sandwich for this is number one cutting plate and number two, the two number two um, cutting plates. So you've got the um, base platform and you've got the two cutting plates. Just getting rid of this excess. Popping this here. Take the larger die. Pop that there. Approximately. Let's see how my shaky hands go today. Pop that down. Pop that up. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Oh, I didn't notify you, Denise. How rude. And you knew I was going live. Make sure, check, because you know how Facebook does lovely things to us and turns off our notifications. Click on the three dots in the comments bar. Oh, that's if you're watching on your computer. Um, just make sure that you are getting notifications for my videos. So, on a computer, yeah, I know it normally does. On oh, another perfect one, that's awesome. I don't know what I'll do with the greenery ones, but because they're on Whisper White, I can just keep them and I can use them another stage or we can die cut them today. But I'll just pop them off to the side at the moment. Oh, thank you, Shelf. It's, hang on. Back to Louisa. And then I've got, I've got a couple of watch faces and my karate kids. Yes, I have mini. Oh, okay. Yes, open up your mini. Deb, it's so easy to open up. You don't need to attach the handle or anything. It's awesome. I love my mini clam. So you can just go over there for the moment because we may need you later. I'll pop these dies away. And because I've heard from nobody about die cutting, I am just going to die cut a bunch. Of, oh, I'm going to use that straight away. Um, I'm going to die cut a bunch in plain white. So those colours are going to be used to colour the butterflies. Now I can use my blends. I can use the matching shadow dies. Um, there are a couple of ways I can colour the butterflies. So I would love to hear how you think I should cut the butterflies. hoping these won't be too wide for the machine yeah they will be too wide 
I'll just grab out. Grab out a piece. We said Stampin'. I did not hear that. I so miss that, girls. Hello, Miss Shelley. Oh, you did. I'm so sorry, girls. You did. Oh, Glenda, Lorraine, Marjean, Kay. I am so sorry. So sorry. Yes, I will stamp and then it cut then, okay? Just because you did actually do exactly what I asked and I love that. Yes, apparently I was busy, Jacqueline. You know, busy, busy with the entertainment. Okay. Now, this die, just before I go anywhere, is... Uh, if I cut this at six centimetres, that will give me plenty of room to make some mistakes. Ooh, now I've got a tickle in my nose. And no, I don't have that horrible C word. Just a tickle. enough I won't cut this one because that's a good size for many other things okay right 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 got these got these got these I have just re-inked my memento which I cut my wrong mm, stamp set not helpful um I've just re-inked my memento because the first lot of butterflies I stamped were a bit how you going? So what I need to know now is do you want me to stamp the butterflies or do you want me to use blends on the butterflies? So stamp or blends. I could also use my markers, my um, stamp and write markers. So I'm just going to pop this down, let it sort of let it go into place and I'm hoping yes that looks nice and straight to me where is my memento ink and of course I put it away because that's what one does blends stamp blends stamp okay one two three blends and two stamp okay Okay, three and three, right? We're level now, girls. So this is, oh, this little frame is stunning. So I can stamp crooked like I just did. It doesn't really matter because I've got that. Oh, we're getting more stamps. Do you know what? I could do both. Could do both. And then I can use all the colours of the, um, all the colours that I've been given. Because the base paper that we're going to use is black and white. Hence why I'm going the black and white in our, um, in our frames and that's perfect for two of these strips do three I may have been a bit excessive with my re-inking of the memento but it seemed incredibly dry like I reckon yeah I don't know it was really dry and now it's really juicy and stamping beautifully so Oh, you haven't played. This is my first play too. So I haven't played with this bundle beforehand. But I like it a lot. And I like that you've got the insides for everything. So if you weren't confident 
with using markers or your stamp and write markers or watercolor pencils anything like that if you weren't confident you could just use your shadow pieces for every outline piece they're all there there's no thinking it's just all there so i will stamp and i am just going to be good and clean this off as i go i know who am i fairly clean uh, not perfect but you know oh uh, see I always find it very hard I never want to play with things too early because like I'm happy to show you my pre-orders because you all enjoy my unboxing videos but I never like to show them too early otherwise you go you forget about what I've shown you and you all go, but I can't have that now. And the answer is no, you can't actually have it now. But I show you normally in the month that you can join as a demonstrator because now I need a scrap piece of paper here because this is the first time I've used this stamp and I'm very glad I just did that. Perfect. So I'm just going black on this. Praying that this will be approximately straight. No, absolutely not. But anyway, adjusted my hand for this one. Mm. That one's better, but it doesn't matter. They're all handmade and stamping them all now. And then we'll die cut them all and then we're all good. I like the mix of the scripty and the more, um, I don't want to call it a normal font, but cause it's not a normal block font either. Um, I just like the mix of the two fonts together. How about we just say that? Okay, they're done. They're not perfect. They're handmade and they are done. So that concludes all our stamping. I know, that's so scary. We often do that, Denise. We often don't talk and then go, but I was using that, but... Even if we both use the same stamp set, we always, always use it in different ways. So we, we have totally different styles generally. And we just, okay, that block didn't go away properly. But anyway, I'm being good and putting my stamps away as I'm using them. Oh. It's getting a bit warm in here. Oh, I wonder if my husband realised the... David! Oh, see, the other load of washing finished and I forgot about it. I forgot to tell him. And I can't text him because you guys are on my phone. Okay, right. Now we're finished with all the stamps. All the butterflies can go here. Oh, no, we're not. We are going to stamp these, but, you know, put away as we go is always a good thing. Machine backing. And let's do some handmade die cutting because that's what we do here. Nothing is ever precise. So do you girls prefer that I don't show you everything, like start card making with new things straight up? Do you prefer that I wait a bit longer until you can order it? I'd love to know.
Okay, got it. You can show everything. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Oh, that died. That died cut beautifully. other way generally it's is it weird that I generally only die cut in one direction I'm sure it puts a lot of stress on the machine actually but it's kind of what's comfortable for me I don't know I think it's just a habit oh thanks Cindy I know, but don't you guys get, oh, I can't have it now. I know a lot of you are demos and that's awesome. Okay. And I am trying to use the whole surface of the, um, sorry, popping this over. I'm trying to use the whole surface of my cutting mat. Um, so I've used both ends and now I am using the middle. It's like a sneaky peek. Well, you've had quite a few sneaky peeks. But as I said, I am um, pairing it with old stuff. So the paper we're using, it's not old. It is still current. It's just retiring soon. So I'm going to keep this end part because that's going to be good for scrap and the rest of it can go in the recycling bin so you can see these cut out really well actually i've like i don't know whether it's me or it but i've lined them up really well ah you put them on your wish list i love people who keep wish lists i've got most of my customers in the habit of keeping a wish list it's just they bring their wish list to class or they see me make something and go, you've stuffed my wish list. It's like, sorry, not sorry. Okay. So I put the plate in partially and then I... That moved a bit, but that's fine. No. Stuffed it and then I jam it down. But because I was talking about it when I did it, it didn't work in the fashion that it normally does. I'd love to know what my husband's doing. I can hear him crashing around outside. The kids are taking some well-deserved downtime, but... Apparently, well, what I would like to happen is I need areas in toys going through because they're big kids now and I need them to, oh, that didn't work out perfectly, but hey, me. Um, I need toys going through because, um, yeah, they're not using as many toys these days and... They just need to go through it. We all as a family work out what we want to keep because obviously I do have other children in our lives and work out what we want to keep, what we want to box up and put in the roof, what we want to keep down and kind of go from there and what we want to donate. But seeing you pair stuff together of a snake it shows what I wasn't interested in yes we love to enable I think it was never my intention to be as much of an enabler as I've become Jennifer but yeah hey Linda thanks for joining Ooh. okay and one more to go I really was going to have this prepared too, but I got chatting with somebody and got distracted. We were actually talking about haps. So I kind of need to hear 
from you girls about what you think about hats because you know I'm not quite at a thousand yet on YouTube but apparently with the HAPS app I can still live stream to YouTube without a thousand subscribers and it might help me get to a thousand subscribers I'm sure they teach enabling very subtly. I'm sure they do, Cappy. I'm sure they do. Okay. Okay. Well, at least I'm using a mixture today. And I'm not just using old, uh, brand new stuff. A mixture. And it's not really that far away. Okay, so what I am going to do is pop these back in here, leave them like that. Right, so I've got all these bits done. I'm going to put this die back on my magnetic sheet, otherwise it will go missing. Now the other thing that is in this die set is this piece and these two go together and this so if you cut out and I think you may be able to do them together but if you cut out um, this and you can emboss with this or does this cut and emboss in one I think this one may cut and emboss in one and you get a beautifully embossed butterfly, which is gorgeous. Okay, so let's... I could do some pear stamping with these ones. Let me grab the three of them out. And I do have some pairs of colours here that I can use. Okay, so that's this. So we use lighter than darker. So let's I'm just going to leave this whole stamp set out at the moment because it's going to make life a heck of a lot easier. So these come in powers. So one. Where's the other one? Here. Two. Now. Just remember, my stamping ain't going to be perfect. So, how many pairs? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. I've got six and we've got like five pairs. So, this is going to work really, really well. Okay, Hyle and Heather first. Hello, Lorraine. Thanks for joining have to wait 24 hours for YouTube. Yes. And the thing and the thing that I also saw about it, Jennifer, is that I can see all the comments in one place. So I don't have to um because I was worried, well, how am I going to have enough devices set up to um to see all the comments? But by the looks of it, um, I'm just going to pop this here. But by the looks of it, I um, don't need to worry about that because all the comments from all the platforms that you stream on go through to the app. Ew. Now that's not stamped perfectly, but good enough. Okay, so I've done that going to be a lot of opening and closing of ink pads here. I only need one pair of scissors, not two. Yes. I just went to pick up my beads and start to put in the bin, look. And they broke. Um, Did you realise the second load of washing is oh, done? No. Ah, there you okay, go. Cool. Well, I'm glad you bought your new yeah. headphones. Well, I feel like throw, I, I, I can honestly throw these out now. Yes, you can <laughs> honestly throw them <laughs> out now because they are as dead as a door now. Yes. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, I haven't set it up, Jennifer. Oh, you're talking to Denise. Okay. Awesome. Yes, it is handmade. What am I doing? I'm closing this. Sorry, too many things happening. Talking to David, reading you, your guys' comments, stamping. My word. Okay, that's that was Highland Heather. We are now going Gorgeous Grape. And really, all of these colours are going to go together. So you guys have really kicked it out of the ballpark. Perfect. With your colouring. Ooh, that's nice. Not perfect, but that's nice. So, button butterfly down. Clean, clean, clean. Clean, clean. Right. Done. Next, we're going Magenta Madness and Misty Moonlight. Yes, Mr. Master Woodbridge. What are you after? Oh, ask Daddy. Close the door and ask Daddy because he had them on Christmas morning. Right. Close the door, please. Sorry, you'll now hear the rest of it. Oh, I know. Those purples are perfect together. Perfect. Um, did you hear Owen? Yes, okay, cool. Okay, the door is now properly shut. I now want to know what he wants a screwdriver for, but, you know, that's just me. After getting the notice that Periscope is closing, I started receiving invitations to join HAPS from friends. You haven't signed up yet, Linda. I haven't received any invitations, but then... I haven't been a Periscope user in a very long time. So I'm assuming that's why I haven't got any invitations. But that's okay. I do have an invite now because I was talking. Oh, that magenta madness. I adore that colour. Like seriously, look how beautiful that is. And yes, I have just really mega stained this, but it's totally clean. Actually, it's not as stained as what I thought. And now we're going to put it with Misty Moonlight. So a bit of a um, a bit of an unusual pairing, but trust me, it's going to look gorgeous. And Word um, chose this one. I don't think. She's popped on and said hello, but um, these were her too. Sorry, I can't remember who else thought of all these pairings, but sorry, you're going to see my very frizzy hair. Oh, and I moved as I put it down. It shouldn't matter. Ooh, that one's nice too. That will turn into a purple, I hope, as it dries. Actually, we've got nine, three, six, nine. So maybe, uh, no, open and close as we go. It's okay. This is going to be a process, guys, but I'm thinking assembling these cards might be a cinch, but... I'm hoping everyone has time to play with it being holidays. Tell me when you're due to go back to work, if you still work. So I'm due back on back to work on the 11th of January. So I'm feeling really lucky because I really haven't had a break this year at all. So I'm looking forward to having a break from that work now i don't really see this as work so that's mango melody on monday no susan 
do you guys have New Year's Day as a holiday in the US? And then we're going in with Mango Melody. Ah, no, we're going in with Mel and Mambo. <laughs> it's okay, I can speak and read and do all of those things so well. Ooh, that's nice because that turns into, the Mango Melody turns into an orange. That is really, really nice. Oh, I like that one a lot. Just making sure that we're not contaminating any colours here. Ah, New Year's Eve till six. What do you do for a job, Susan? I'm now interested to know. Okay. Okay, now I'm thinking I'm going to be pairing. So this was one I was given four. But what I think I'll put together is I'll put together the Bermuda. No, I'll put together the Bumblebee and Just Jade and the Calypso Coal and Bermuda Bay because I'm liking the very striking difference in the butterflies. So these ones can go away because we're on to our next shape. So I'm loving these. These are so good. Ah, oh, that's my mum's birthday, Linda. Linda, have you messaged me to put yourself on my birthday list? Obviously, being so late, you may... Um, you may miss out on getting you will miss out on getting the birthday card on your birthday but i would love to send you one so does this butterfly have a middle or does this one just have no color so that goes with that that goes with that i'm not sure what that one goes with that one so they these ones go with that one or does this one go with that one sorry 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 guys just having a look here aha uh -huh. no no oh hang on let me put this on yes that goes on the inside okay i've got it did I message you? I don't know. Message me again, Shelly, and I will double check. Okay? More than happy for you to message me twice than for you to miss out full stop. Because no one wants to miss out. Okay, Bumblebee first, and then we'll go in with the Just Jade. And this Bumblebee is such a bright and happy colour. So lovely. Wow, Lorraine. I forget your mum's still alive. That's crazy. So... With the recent addition to your family, does that make your mum a great, great, great grandmother? Because that is so cool. You're going to live forever, Lorraine. I'm going to be stuck with you forever and that is so not a bad thing. Wow, Glenda. I have lots of friends who come from lines of longevity and I love it. Okay, so this is going to go this way. 
not quite sure how this this is kind of like a green and gold one but we'll see see how it goes okay just commit just commit oh that doesn't look bad it's just it's stuck just it's stuck um clean then I have to turn on my fan, so you'll hear a bit of a whirring. It's just I'm not getting any air movement in here, and it's Shh. I am wearing a brand new white top, girls. That was uh, pretty close. Are you impressed that I totally missed that? Because I'm rather impressed. Because of course, you know, first time I wear a white top okay i'm going to grab a wet wipe and wipe that up okay oh okay crisis averted i think Okay, right here. Now, Calypso Coral. Calypso Coral and then Bermuda Bay. I love that these have really... Um, Although I think I think because oh no I've got the detail there they're nice thick black lines so if you don't perfectly uh, line this up you've got the black lines white top and ink I know but I like wearing white Jacqueline. Ah, so like close to Sydney, New South Wales, Glenda? Oh, why am I taking that off? I'm not done yet. Okay. Hit. Done. That's a shame you won't be able to see it though. Because, uh, yeah, our borders are locked down from other states. It's not us. It's everyone else doesn't love us at the moment. Okay, I've got to go for it. i got... Yeah, that one didn't show up as much. So what I might do... I think I have to go back to the start. Or oh, my top favourite four. What are my top favourite four? Well, I like those ones. It's one, two, three. They're my top three. So I'll go back to those and then we'll decide on the fourth. So we'll work backwards. Ah, so your mum lives near your sister Lorraine. That makes sense. one now if you were stamping these all in the same colors this would take no time at all oh Inverell okay Glenda 
so she's not in any kind of weird lockdown at the moment but are you guys allowed to leave where you are or no you have to quarantine on your way back in that's the issue isn't it oh that looks pretty okay there's those three done Although I swear that wasn't meant to be that. Oh no, that's right. Okay, now we're on to the big guns. And we've got three of those. And grab the stamp set. I am... Oh, heard that stuck. Not yeah. Hello, Leanne. Thank you for joining. I know, they're great. And I didn't choose any of these combos. These combos are all on my um, announcement post for this. Yes. Where's the booth for the bird bar? Um, on the entertainment unit near the Santa. <laughs> That's okay. I think it's uh, almost up next to the central speaker. Yes, I, I especially watched the For the River Rocks for it. Oh, lovely. <laughs> David got a bird for Christmas from, a, from my mum. And because he recently bought himself a bird bath. I didn't want a bird bath, but he wanted a bird bath. And he's washed off. And then a friend of ours gave him some uh, river rocks for the birds to perch in in the bird bath. Um, and my, he's now just retrieving the bird, which is like a ceramic bird. It's awfully cute. And um, he is going to pop it in there so I can watch him out of my window doing that. Hello Miss Shirley. Sorry Shirley, I didn't realise it was you making that comment until I've looked back. Okay, right, three more colour combos and that's... Oh, I've stuffed my colour combo somewhere along the way. One, two... No, one, two... Mango, ah, okay, I have done different colour combinations, but that's okay. So, the, oh, hooray, where was it? Um, I... In my little thing above my drawers, I just had to take a few things out. Okay, can you put it thing. in your wallet, please? My son lost his driver's licence, which... You found it. Awesome. Good job. Now we can go driving again because one has found their driver's license. Yes, well, it was put up straight away, Cindy, much to my disgust. But, you know, it's, it's something small and it makes him happy and that's fine. Although I did buy some stuff to clean it out with, but we're not sure we can use it with Louisa or if it might make her sick if she tried to drink from the said bird bath. But anyway. Oh no, don't take that off. Ninong. Yes, I know. Hooray, right? Because someone asked him, are you going driving at the moment? And they actually had to say, um, if I found my license, yeah. But nice to know, because I wasn't the one that was going to do the whinging about finding the license, because it's not my driver's license. And they're big enough and ugly enough to work it out. Oh, I love that detail. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right. That one... I'm not sure I like the Bermuda Bay one, like the green and yellow one, but I'll use it because I'm not keeping these cards. These are being given away and that's okay. So I think I am going, this is going to be fun taking photos of these cards. I think I'm going to have to have a stack of colours and um, do it that way. 
Oops, I need to clean. They are Kerry, and that's why I'm glad I bought them. I know, um, I think I was chatting with Ruth, and she said, I'm going to cut them apart, as in cut these apart from there. And I don't think I will, but that's just me. Because it's just as easy to die cut them. I had no issues, but how she crafts and how I craft are two very different things. For her One Sheet Wonders, it will work better, I think, for her to um, cut them apart. So I understand. And look, the stamps don't cry when you cut them apart, much to, you know, popular belief is it hurts their feelings, but really it doesn't. And then she can use the greenery in different ways. I think it'll work really well for her cutting it apart where I'm happy die cut but that's just me okay right and the night of navy do I dare check how long I've been on an hour this is going to be a long one, guys. At least I kind of warned you that we we're in for the long haul at the start and said I don't care of those of you who are watching the replay if you watch me in a fast forward. Ta-da! That one's pretty. And then one purple one. And we are done. Then we are cutting and assembling. So who's crafting along with me? Tell me if you're crafting. Yes, you have to have it, Leanne. Ah, good. I'm glad, Kerry, because, you know, I can talk underwater with mouthful of marble, so I've been told my whole entire life. It's now as an adult, I'm now very much proving the fact that I can do this, do this. But the fact that you're here interacting with me does make the whole process a lot nicer and more interactive. All oh, that Highland Heather. So pretty. Yeah. Fair enough, Glenda. Look, I'm happy to entertain you. So should I should I uh, change all my things to an entertainer or keep it as art? You know when you categorise yourself on all the social medias, I've got myself down as art because it is it's art. The only colour we haven't used, and I'm so sorry, Denise, if you're still here, I haven't used a granny apple green. Oh, you're ironing. I do have a basket of ironing to do. It's all the kids, um, all the kids stuff for next year. Oh, you know, the kids school uniforms. So I had to buy my eldest uh, black shorts because he'll be senior next year or in senior school. Uh, so I've ordered the senior jacket and... I've got the black shorts. Pretty. It'd be better if I lined up these, but you know, those things happen. Right. And the stamping is concluded. Right. And I also could have just stamped that. Oh, I do wonder if that fits in that. I don't know. I haven't checked that fact. Okay, sorry Denise, didn't use your colour, but thank you everyone else for your suggestions. And it's not that we don't love Denise, it's just it was the, it wasn't a pairing of colours. Okay, who's laughing at what? Oh no, you didn't. Harry Potter, I love Harry Potter. I got Harry Potter Pandora for Christmas to go with my other Harry Potter Pandora. 
for my birthday I got the hanging um, letter so the um, the letter that Harry gets to attend and then I also got Hedwig and I got from that was from my stepdaughter granddaughter and her partner and I also from my family from my birthday got the time turner oh yes Lorraine you're making uh, wedding invitations aren't you hopefully you're nutting out that final design by making lots of awesome cards I haven't bought that set oh I'm glad and then I've just kicked you over haven't I Linda into crafting okay I need a drink of water so please bear with me close my cleaners so this is the current state. I am washing um, towels later. So I will be washing um, my mats. They are a bit mildewy, but can't help that. Yes, you need those, Denise. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to pop those to the side. I'm going to grab this down and... I did grab out a small pattern of magic in this night paper that is still on sale at the moment, um, but is retiring as of the 4th of January. But I really like that pattern on the back. So I thought I could make some really nice mas masculine cards with that. So I'm not using that. I'm going to use this larger floral pattern that has bats on the back. I'm never going to use the bats. So let's do this. And I am going to go at nine. Yeah. Nine works. So one and a half centimeters smaller than a card front. So nine. And I'm going to cut. Helps if I can pick this up. So I'm going to cut all my strips at the same time because this is pattern paper and not cardstock. It then means that I can then cut three pieces at once. And it's going to be easier. I know I love this paper too, but I love it for non Halloween purposes and then we're left with a really nice decent chunky strip that we can use i know i had to mix the new with the old so two new stamp sets for one old product i'm pretty happy with that so one and a half centimeters smaller and i'm thinking we just go plain whisper white card bases because then, so thick whisper white card bases. I'm hoping these are right, one and a half. Yeah, that's right. And then we've got more nice chunky strips. So six card fronts. And we go, should we go white or black? Let's audition it. Let's lay it out and see what would be better, white or black. I will let you vote while I grab out what I need. This is black. Thick whisper white. Oh, I already have one thick whisper white. Okay. Oh, I have two. So let's lay out a whisper white. Oh, wow, Shelly. That's impressive. Black. Okay. Well, we're going to audition it. Oh, I think you're right, Miss Cindy. Why are you always right? 
know, we could go either way, but I'm thinking portrait. Yeah, you're right, Miss Cindy. Always right. White looks crap. I hope that's not classed as three each of each colour. I don't think I can, Glenda. Really, the white didn't look fab. Okay. See, the black, the black doesn't compete. And then you've got the pop of white. That's right. You got it. Right, black it is. Great. At least we've got somewhere to go, which is good. Now, which way does that? I think that goes the way I want it to. So, one, two, three. Three pieces of basic black. And that's why our new colour is going to be called basic white because we already have basic black, basic white, basic grey. Thanks, Denise. I think I might use two butterflies on each card and see how we go. And then I may just end up making more cards and um, use the scraps because I'll have at least an extra card and I do have those scraps next to me so yeah let's see where this adventure takes us but I'm so happy that I finally inked up those stamps I have so many stamp sets to ink up including all the celebration stuff like so much celebration stuff crazy 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 oops do not cut pull down then go up thank you black is good yeah i know and you girls know i don't use much black but boy have i been using a bit of it recently Whoop. and not necessarily in cardstock but it's just, I don't know, I've been using it. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. What I wanted to do was score at that, but that's okay. Old habits die hard. I'm going to make some of these portrait and some of them landscape. Spice of life, hey? Have it, uh, is yours on your way to you, Linda? Do you get yours from Denise, Linda? Hopefully, I'm assuming she is the um, thing, uh, the catalog in the Jigata. And also, if anyone here in Australia needs a catalog and doesn't already have a demonstrator, please contact me and I will be more than happy to pop a catalog in the mail to you now i am also because you know i do use a fair bit dsp in my card making and i am doing a design series paper share so i have offered it to all my customers who requested a catalog i haven't pop the details up on my group yet but I shall be doing that do you know what I'm going to write that on my list right here so then it actually gets done mm -hmm. sure because I've already done I've already done all the sums and it's all, all I have to do is copy and paste so that's now written on the list. Ah, no, Denise. Okay, so at least you know they're on the way. And as soon as we can share the PDF, we will share the PDF. It's just we can't share the PDF 
with customers until the 5th um, because of um, legal. So legal have said we can't. And that's just so, you know, we get our products get ripped off so much. Um, oh, okay, Linda, I'll grab a grey. I'll grab basic grey. Basic grey might look good as well. Okay, even though I folded six of those, Linda, you're a bit late, but that's okay. I will do that just for you. Sahara Sand, basic grey. I think the basic grey will look okay, but my prediction is the basic black will look better. Okay, it's not scored or anything, but I will lay it out just for you doesn't have as much pop it does still look good but it just doesn't have as much of a pop as the black i think the gray definitely looks better than the white base the white base was just competing like way too much so there you go linda that's what it looks like but i'm still loving the black yeah, that's okay. I'm, I'd happily show you um, if I can. If I've got this stuff and it's easy at hand, which that absolutely was, I will show you. Yeah, it does. It does. And I thought white would work well, but apparently not. Okay, glue, 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 glue. And I think the only things I will pop up on these cards are the butterflies. And that will make our process so much quicker. And we're going to have a really nice black frame on with this paper. So it will be, turn them over, a really nice thick black frame. Okay, one down. My butterflies keep on wanting to flutter away. And whilst I don't have anything against this background colour, like this um, bats, just so I don't do Halloween and my, my kids aren't at the stage where they're into, mind you, my youngest did watch Spider-Man yesterday. So I can't really say they're not at that stage because, you know, he still watches Spider-Man. Hello! I think I have some leftovers in the fridge. I'm hoping David Nolan had some yesterday while I wasn't here, Jay. So you've missed all the stamping fun. So I've used two new stamp sets and one old pattern paper set, Miss J. I've been on here for hmm, an hour and 15 minutes almost. And we're just hanging out, having fun. And so glad you could pop in. Uh, my glue holder, Kerry, is from a friend of mine who lives just over the hill from me, like one two three streets away and he is called central coast 3d printing his name is chris and tell him i sent you and he will be able to make you one because you are in australia aren't you Ooh, not we need to buy a ladder if we don't buy a ladder jamie and we need to go to bunnings to buy a ladder but if we don't go to Bunnings, which I think is like your guys' Sears in America. But if we don't go to, Bun to Bunnings to buy a ladder, we cannot put away Christmas. But we don't put away Christmas until the 12 days of Christmas is concluded. And we put them up late this year. So, 
two more to go. And these are my portrait ones. Now I'm flipping them over because there is a slight sheen from my bone folder on them. So I do just flip them over. Ah, yes, your new Maitland. That's, I'm glad I had you in Australia. Yes, like Lowe's or Home Depot. Right, thank you. Is this like a hardware store as well? Or is that more of a clothing store? Have I got my stores totally mixed up? I think I have. And I do apologise. My best friend is currently in Maitland right now, Kerry. Yes, at the at the Feast of the Epiphany. That's exactly correct. I have, with the old Pope, I have sat in the Epiphany Mass in St. Peter's Basilica in Italy when I was a younger wee girl. I shouldn't say wee. I was a teenager. Uh, we sat in that Mass, as said by the Pope. Okay, that is these card bases done to portrait for landscape. Oh no, these are portrait to landscape. Okay, let's get a gluing with these. Assembly plus, but I'm going to have six gorgeous all occasion cards, but I think I'll use them as birthday cards. Because this year, what I am thinking of doing... Now, do I want to go middle or down? I always like going off-centre. Like, as in not off-centre on an angle, but not centred. Like, up and down. Of course, I knew I would do that. purse and the great thing about using wet glue you get the wiggle room but by jeebus you touch it okay leave it put it to the side and off we keep moving okay so so who's still got leftovers my mum has the ham at her house, so I don't have a ham in my fridge. I just can ask her to bring me down ham when I need to. Sears is a department store. Oh, I did get it wrong, Janie. I'm a duffer. Okay, I'm just going to leave that. And three... Then we have our two landscape ones to do. A container of ham left. Do I feel with your golden girls that we may have a quiche rain coming on? Quiche rain in Jamie's house. I'll happily take the little... I've shredded a whole leftover chook in the slow cooker. Oh, yum! That sounds so good, Jamie. Okay, I'm coming to your house for dinner, but I don't eat chicken. But sounds really good. See, we had lamb and ham. Ah, oh, really? I'll come up and have... Ham and I'll have Keish Lorraine with you. Just tell me what time to pop up for dinner 
and we'll have the quiche Lorraine and they can have the taco stuff this one I'm thinking I need to center so I've gone off center on some and not on others okay no problems Carol I will post the finished product or you can watch the replay thank you so much for hanging out Carol I always appreciate having you here and I'll see you in a couple of days well, that's what I suggested to L to make with all the leftover roast vegetables. Because I have like leftover roast onion and sweet potato and pumpkin and potatoes. And I um, did suggest that he made a frittata. So... But I need eggs. And I'm in, well, I am in a new top because we almost got just Jade Ink all over it earlier. But could go to the shops and buy eggs. I think I'd have enough. But I need some for me as well. Do you know what? This, um, this frame is almost cartoonish as well okay so that is all of those popped on i don't need this anymore and we are going to switch to dimensionals whoops okay sorry i have a magnet from a girlfriend and always falls off oh denise look it's not your telephone box but it's a bus and the houses of parliament and big ben I do have a Big Ben um, decoration on my tree that my mum bought me back from um, from London. <coughs> Roast veg and salad. Yeah, I don't think I have any salad leaves. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't know. Uh, utility scissors. Right done one on the back is all we're going to need okay so I'm going to put one here and I like them bursting out of the frame so I don't want them in the frame where are the rest of them one two one two maybe I'll leave it one each and then we'll go back and see which ones we feel need more because I'm really quite happy with that. Pretty. Right. Of course, you know I'm going to use all the big ones first because I think, and I do make sure I flutter the wings up as well. You could quite easily use the mini dimensionals for these, but these dimensionals were out of my, um, out of a kit. So I'm just using them. Oh, nice. Now that sounds good. That does sound good. So I don't want to put it too far away from the sentiment because then it seems very disconnected. I want to kind of keep it near the sentiment so we keep that connection okay one more big one hello diana thank you so much for joining yes there are lots of us from New South Wales here today. We're all enjoying our post-Christmas holiday or time off. The week of the year that you never know what day it is. Because when have I ever come on live on a Sunday? I Oh no, that one got moved big time. No, I'm, that one... 
I think these last four, two, four, no. We'll see. We shall see. Some of them are going to have two and one of them are only going to have one. Now, because this one is just a butterfly on its side, I'll show you what I will do. So I can't really flutter it, but what I can do is just curl this top and bottom edges. And I'll show you when I put it on what that looks like. So you can see here how I've just curled the top and bottom edges. Um, Jamie, will we require Winker Stella on these butterflies? I'm asking for a friend. I think I know what your answer will be, Miss J, but you know, I thought I'd ask anyway. I'm assuming they will require wink because, you know, that'll make, you know, we could add rhinestones, but adding wink is going to be a lot quicker at this stage of the card making process. Considering we've, oh, Siri's not listening. Okay, we're at the hour and a half mark. But we've pretty, I think we've done pretty, pretty well. Now, because this one is so symmetrical, I kind of want to put it there in the middle. That looks really nice. No, I want to use this purple one. It's always wink, babe, of course. I love the dish. That's a great movie. That's filmed in parks. Ah, right. Look, I have all the Aussies in the house. Hey, Christy. Okay, all the Aussies are in the house today. I like this. Yay for Christmas holidays. We can all be live together. Kind of going to put two of the same fluttering up here. And I know I have these scraps, so I may whack together a really, really simple, quick card. I'm going to see. Pretty. I like that one. So you can see I've done like centered, non-centered off to the side although that one no because I've only got these ones left so I've done like lots of lovely ones these ones would have looked equally good in the center okay let's see what I can do oh these ones I can just stick those three strips down and get a seventh card Okay, bear with. We are going to need that glue again. Okay, get one in the center. So, yes, the lightest one. I'm thinking in the center, darkest at the bottom. Yep, like that. Not going to be perfect, but a great use of our scraps because we know... get this glue goober off no. yeah. glue goober can go in my dish but I do have a titch of a blockage just oh a big 
the big glue goo that came out there. I'm glad I didn't squeeze my glue. It would have been everywhere. And now it just comes out. Lovely. Perfect. Exactly as we want it to come out. But I should put the bottom on first. Should do bottom, top, then middle. Not the other way around. But anyway. I'm not sure what I'm doing for a sentiment. I may just add the sentiment off screen, um, but pop on the butterflies and have them all winked up. And then I can just add that sentiment um, later. So great use of these scraps. I think I've only got one skinny scrap left. So what I'm thinking I will do here, yeah, that will, that will do, and pop these up, sort of have one here and then one there with a sentiment across our dark bit, and we're done. Oh, hello Mr. Taylor. even though I can't see you, hello Mr. Man. Yes, you shall, you shall indeed, Cindy, sorry, I've been missing all the comments. Oh, Lola's going for a walk, oh my god, Lola will be so excited there, Miss J. No. I, I see what you mean, but I'm trying to, I've already been on for a long time. I'm trying to keep this simple. I'm going to wink it, but I'm thinking the colours pop really well. But yes, you could absolutely do splatters or coloured gems. I'm just going for, oh, that must have come off already. I am trying to go for simple, but effective. Yes, I could for this one. I could. Oh, okay, Dee. Thanks for joining. Enjoy your dinner. Say hi to everyone for me. Okay. And one more. But this card, as I said, will remain unfinished and I will add the sentiment right at the end after I finish and I'm just going to go through so that sort of connects I think where I've placed the butterflies helps them connect across the three bands of paper okay wink is Stella shake 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 Now, I'm sorry if I've missed anyone's comments, but you can see, I think, oops, wrong end and wink, wink just went everywhere over this. Okay, wink, this wink is running really, really well. Do you know what I'm going to do? No, it's not, oh yes, I did. I just got splatters of wink. Okay, I may have got wink everywhere, but on this one, I don't, I'm hoping you can see those splatters of wink. Okay, one done. I'm only putting splatters of wink on this one. Oh, 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 check that. 
check that. Yes. Uh, no, that's been kept. Oh, okay. That's the nice reindeer one from Lorraine, who's okay. watching me. What about the other one? What's, where's the other big one gone? That's already gone. Oh, good, excellent. Good. Yeah. Okay. No, we are keeping your reindeer tin, Lorraine. I love it. But David's in clean-up mode, apparently. As I do, throw it out. I love it. It's got a leaping reindeer on it. That's so cute. So generously adding wink on these just for that super sparkle. You could add rhinestones. You could add gems. You could also colour said rhinestones and gems. And they would look adorable on this. But... I am keeping this video as short as humanly possible when you make seven cards almost from scratch. Almost. But it was good to you to show you girls my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. It was good to use a whole piece of my paper, of the Magic in This Night paper. Um, we were also able to add the sentiment from Garden Wishes and we used the whole bundle on the fluttering and floating. Okay, I think a thin layer, yes, that would look gorgeous as well. I could, I could, I could, that would look awesome as well. You girls have got some great suggestions here, I love it. I love it. Oh, thanks for that, Jamie. I thought the three worked perfectly. I'm just scrolling back and seeing if there are any questions that I missed. But I don't think, I think a lot of it you go, oh, hey, Maria. Sorry, I missed you joining. Okay. Parks is beautiful, Diana. Girl, I ain't busy. Take your time. Yeah, but I've been on since 12 and it's 20 to 2 and my tummy is hungry. I need to eat. So, I will lay out these cards. So you can see them approximately. This one we're adding a sentiment to, but hey, once I had the splatter on it, I had to go with it. So... These are the seven cards that we have made. I also added in, I don't know where I'm going to put it, the fluttering. The fluttering dies, the floating and fluttering. So these match in a bundle, 10% off. The garden wishes, that comes with the coordinating die. These three products are available on the 5th of January to customers. If you wanted to join my team, you can grab them right now. And you can get your products earlier than people who order on the 5th. Um, what else? This paper is magic in this night. You can order that right now. And it's only available till the 4th of January. So it is retiring paper. All same to you. Thank you, girls. Thank you. And if anyone wants to go on my birthday list for next year and receive a beautiful birthday card that I make, uh, please make sure you send me through a message with your birth date and address. And if you're not already on the list, because I'll double check, we're not sure if Shelly's on the list. I think she is, but not totally sure. Um, if not, I will add you to my list. I hope you guys have an amazing couple of days. I'll be back in a couple of days to make some more fun things with you. I'll be back before New Year, Cindy, but if you don't see the girls before New Year, I do agree. Have an amazing one. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Any questions, please just pop them in the comments. Thanks. Bye.